Hey y'all, it's Ty Hewitt from Power Stroke Specialty in Beaufort, Georgia, and PowerStrokeHelp.com. We're here today with Mike down in our Diag Bay, and I'm gonna let Mike take it from here. Okay guys, I hope you're all having a good day. What we have here is a um, 2006 F-250 Super Duty 6 liter. And I wanna tell you something I see very common. Um, some of these trucks do not come with a trailer brake controller. Um, this is an option from for the 05 and up. Um, hey guys, so we're at that point where we're, we are going to marry the TBC to the cluster. And there's a few tricks to that, that if you don't do it right, it doesn't work. And it's not hard. Right now it shows a TBC fault because the trailer brake controller is in the truck, it's plugged in, but it's not married to communicate properly with the instrument cluster. So it is showing a fault. Um, if you wanted to eliminate a TBC, you'd have to turn this option off and then keep it unplugged. But we're gonna turn it on. So I wanna show you, I have started a new session and recognized this truck with IDS. And this procedure is, I'm gonna go into the toolbox and I'm going to go into module programming. And then I need to um, uh, go into personality. And then right here under personality, there's some options here and one of them is instrument cluster trailer brake control module it says not equipped so we're going to turn on we're going to set that to equipped because now it has it if you were reversing this you would of course do the same thing and select not equipped if you wanted to remove the oem one some of those they have problems they have to be repaired they're expensive um, that would be how to turn it off as well, but we're turning it on. So we're going to hit the check for, um, for go. And then that process is done. Now here's the thing. You have to force that change to be inhaled into the cluster. And so after that change is made, you go back to programming. We're going to, we're going to treat this as a new install because if I try to do an update, it'll just tell me there's nothing to do. So we'll approach this as a new install, reprogram, turn the ignition on, which it is. Turn it off. Now what it did is it inhaled the, the new data and the old data from the cluster, put the new cluster in, which we didn't do. And I'll set ignition to on. Put that in a diagnostic state. Programming is complete. Off. And we're done. We now have a trailer brake controller that will function through the properly through the instrument cluster. You can add this, but there are some things you have to do. Um, these trucks do come with all the wiring to, to add the trailer brake control module, um, but you do have to put it in, program the cluster to accept a TBC. And then one of the biggest mistakes people don't know, let me show you up here. On the master cylinder, the one that came on this truck only had a single port for the cruise control redundant pressure switch, which is this one in the front. Can you see that? What has to be added is something called a brake, um, a brake transducer, transducer, and that is another pressure sensor that is linked to the the um, TBC and that basically tells the TBC how much brake uh, brake pedal pressure you're applying where it can then apply that gain 
to the trailer brakes. So to add this, we had to change this master out. So there's two versions, with or without. Um, so this man put his own TBC in, but he didn't do these other things. So we've added the master, we've bled the brakes, we've bench bled the, you know, the master, and then we bled all the calipers. The wiring is here for, for this, this sensor. Um, it's plugged into a dummy. Um, we did have to buy the sensor and then plug it in. And then the rest is really simple. With IDS, you program the cluster, and I thought that might make it easier for you guys if you ever run into wanting to add one of these. Now, this option's only available on the 05 and up. So, if unfortunately, if you have an, an excursion or a 03 or 04 or a 99, you guys know you have to buy an aftermarket brake controller. The wiring for that is under the dash, but it won't be a smart controller like, like we love that's in these trucks. Um, so that's what we're doing today this is the end of a process of a lifetime deal proof so we're buttoning up uh, a lot of little in things that this guy wants um, so he'll leave today with new brake fluid and a tbc that works and uh, we're going to go down the road and work and pull something and how many miles are we going to get out of this deal of proof that we done here at power Stroke specialty review for georgia uh, mike he should be good for another well, we're hoping a half a million miles yeah.